Don't do that, man. Don't do that. Stockton store beat down as workers wallop a shoplifting suspect trying to steal a trash can full of cigarettes. Tonight, we speak with the man who took out his phone and caught the whole thing on camera. Now we do have a warning for you though, straight off the top. Some may find this video disturbing, but let's get right out to CBS 13's Madison Keevy live for us in Stockton tonight with answers from the man behind the camera and the company policy that was likely broken. Madison. Yeah, that man tells me that at first when employees went to protect their store at this 7-Eleven in Stockton, that he was impressed and supported what they were doing. But then he said after more than two dozen hits, he started to question if it would end in death. Hey man, don't do that. In there. So I'm shocked right now. I don't know what to think. The man behind the camera replays a chaotic Saturday. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. Cell phone video from a Stockton 7 Eleven on the corner of Center and Market Streets has gone viral. Then, next thing I know, guy walks in with a mask. So I'm assessing it like, okay, I got to make it out of here. So let me start talking. I asked the man who took this video, who goes by Dita, about what we see. A masked man attempts to unload the shelves, mostly cigarettes, dumping the stolen goods into a trash can. He's overheard on video threatening two store employees. This is where things escalate, and 7-Eleven's company protocol is broken. Like 25, 26 hits. Like, I really, I couldn't tell how many hits, but I knew it, it, I was quiet to a point because I couldn't believe, like, this is happening. Excessive and potentially against the law. Stockton police say they're aware and investigating what plays out in this minutes long attack. The beating against 7 Eleven company policy. As outlined in a Justice Department report, Employees are trained to handle robberies as calmly and quickly as they would any other transaction. I don't want him to lose his life that that night, and I didn't want the employees to do a lot to get them put in jail for something that they really probably emotionally didn't think about. Dita says he knows people might ask why he kept filming before he intervenes. He says it was for protection and proof of what happened. And it's getting ridiculous to a point that we gotta figure it out. It's not worth your life, nothing else, okay? To give you perspective, the 7-Eleven sits directly across the street here from the Stockton Police Department headquarters. And the man who took that video says he's hopeful that means there will be a little more security at this store. He also says it should be a call to the community that more mental health resources are needed here in Stockton. By the way, I also reached out to 7-Eleven for a comment, more information, and did not hear back by this deadline. Yeah, quite a scene there caught right yeah. there on that video. Madison, thank you for that live report.